Today, we are going to cover how to get the statistics from a raster band uh, using PyQGIS. So, just a reminder before we start that I'm putting these tutorials up on my website, opensourceoptions.com. Go to tutorials, check out Python, and then PyQGIS. Now, this is going to cover something that we've covered a little bit of uh, in the first one where we symbolized raster layers. So you can see I have a line of code here, a couple of lines where we deal with raster stats. We're going to dive a little more into this because I glossed over it in that tutorial. All right, so I'm going to create a new script here, but first I'm going to grab the path to my DEM and then we'll make a new script. And then we want to load this raster layer into the QGIS interface. So we'll do layer equals iface dot add raster layer and we'll give it fn and we'll give it a blank layer name for now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and run this to make sure our raster loads. Let's go ahead and click uh, run script. Okay, and there is my raster. This is a digital elevation model or a DEM. Same one I've been using through these for most of these tutorials. So let's go ahead and remove that layer now. We've got that worked out. And the next thing we'll do is we're simply just going to query um, the uh, raster band statistics for a given band. And that's very easy to do. We do layer, let's make, let's go stats equals layer dot data provider. And then it's going to be band statistics. And here, what we're going to put in um, is one for the raster band. And then we need to give it the stats we want. So we can go QGS raster band stats dot all. Okay, and this will give us all the stats. So we can come down here uh, and we should be able to do print. We can do stats dot minimum a min value. I'm just going to go back to the website here and uh, check that out. So it's minimum value and maximum value. Um, okay, let's go ahead and just print those out first to start off with. Minimum value, and then let's go down and print stats dot maximum value. Let's make sure this prints first, make sure you don't have any errors, and then we can deal with some uh, other nuances with querying the raster band stats. Okay, so band statistics. I've got to check and make sure I wrote that code correctly. And what I didn't do here was put parentheses on the data provider. So let's go ahead and click run. And there you can see it's printed out our minimum value and our maximum value. And we've added this over here again. Um, okay, good. So we're set up there. I'm just going to go ahead and remove these. Okay, so let's jump over the documentation here real quick. So this is actually the C++ documentation, but it's going to apply to um, the Python API as well. So this is for the QGS raster band stats class. You can see we have this enum of stats, which is gonna to correspond to the min, the max, the range, um, the sum, the mean, standard deviation, the sum of squares. Okay, and this is just how it's going to query all these. And so we used all, and so it, qu it queries all those values. We could, when we do this, just select one um, or another value. And so I'll show you how we can do that. So let's jump back over into QGIS. And so if I say instead of um, raster band stats, I'm going to say uh, here I want to get min. Well, let's just double check that I've done this right probably going to be a capital M and we're going to have to get rid of these so let's just go 
print stats. And let's go ahead and click run and make sure that works. And you can see that it's printed out uh, the location of that object. So it'll do stats dot minimum value. Let's go ahead and click run there. And there you can see we have the minimum value. Now if I try to do stats maximum value, it should give me an error because I only requested the minimum value there. Go ahead and click run. And it still gave it to me actually. <clears throat> Which I'm not exactly sure why that happened. Let's uh, try sum of squares. And let's hit run on that. And it gave me a uh, zero on the sum of squares. I thought it would give me an error, but it didn't. So I'm not sure exactly why that's working. Maybe we'll go check the documentation out again and see if we can figure out what that might be. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure sure why that is. But you can see these different these different things that we can query all these different uh, values. We have the range, the max, minimum, the maximum, um, standard deviation, sum of squares, uh, sum. So we can come back and we can try some of these values. I'm just going to change this back to raster band stats dot all so we get all those things. And let's print out range. It'll give us a difference between the values here. So stats, stats range. Let's go ahead and click run. You see there are 348 meters between the highest point and the lowest point. Um, and let's go with sum. This is going to be a big number for, uh, the, yeah, so that's the sum of all the elevations in that DEM, which is a big number. And then we can go mean here. And there's the mean elevation in the raster. So that's a quick overview um, of the QGIS raster band stats with PyQGIS. Once again, I'm not sure uh, why this is not working with just min, max. But I guess the point is, is that if you do this, you're going to get the values you need. Um, I'm not sure why that is. I'll look into that, and if I figure out, I'll let you know why. Um, I want to point out one more thing to you on the website here. So we're going through all this Pi, all these PyQGIS tutorials. Um, I'd like to point out my courses, um, and they're on they're listed on my website here. They have links to them. They're hosted on Teachable.com. But using these PyQGIS programming methods, uh, we can use those to develop Python plugins. And I have a course here on how to develop those Python plugins. And so those are going to be things that you can use natively in QGIS. For example, if I come to plugins, I can go to manage and install plugins. And it's going to open the, the official plugin repository. And you can see I have a list of these installed plugins that I've used here. I can go to all, and these are all the ones listed that can extend the functionality of QGIS. The QGIS plugins course will teach you how to create a plugin and then be able to publish it so that it can be found by all QGIS users uh, in the plugins repository. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and take the course. Um, I believe it costs $10. Um, and a lot of that is actually posted on my channel here. There are some finer details during the course, but the basics are also posted on the channel if you want to access that for free. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any other suggestions about things to cover with PyQGIS programming um, or GIS programming or anything in Python that you, you're, you're dying to know about or, or trying to figure out, please leave a comment below. Um, I try to get to those. I'm not always the greatest at it, but I do try. And once again, thank you for watching.